I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, but Disney owns everything, which means stuff's gonna get ruined. And since we're approaching the holidays, Disney has decided with their infinite wisdom that we need to ruin yet another classic, Home Alone. It's now titled Home Sweet Home Alone, and it's coming exclusively to Disney Plus. What a gift, what a treat. Now, maybe you don't celebrate Christmas. Well, that's okay. That's okay, Disney's still gonna give it to you, and you're gonna take it all. All of it. Unwrap the bow, open the box, and witness the unbridled hell that's inside. After watching this trailer, a part of me kind of feels bad for YouTube movie reactors out there. How can they possibly spin this one? How can they possibly act like there's anything resembling comedy in the trailer? Or heart, or emotion, or passion, or anything that went into the first film? Home Alone 1 and 2 are childhood classics. They're near and dear to my heart, my family watches them every year, and I've grown to appreciate them even more as time has gone on. They've aged like a fine mac and cheese. And after watching the making of Home Alone, it's become even more obvious that there was so much dedication to get this movie out. It was on the chopping block every other week by Fox. Remember Fox? They used to own movie properties. Disney owns everything now. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? This film. The original had such amazing talent on display. Even the small roles from the siblings were phenomenal. Then you have Macaulay Culkin killing it, his brother's in there for a little bit, Catherine O'Hara is absolutely dominating the movie. We have a freaking cameo by John Candy, and then the robbers, Daniel Stern, Joe Pesci, completely destroying their bodies for the movie. And they do it with such ease, such comedic timing, it's, it's unmatched, it's unrivaled today. Well, what's the new one offer? Pete Holmes. Ellie Kemper. I think Pete Holmes is funny. He's talented. Ellie Kemper. I've been told she's funny. I have yet to see her make me laugh. Uh, the Office, I thought her character was just the worst. Um, her, her show on Netflix didn't do a single thing for me, so I don't know. Apparently, she's really funny off camera. Everyone else in this trailer is phoning it in. The mom has absolutely no charisma. Who's the kid? Max? At least it's not the same family. At least it's not a full-on reboot. They're just ripping off all the same lines from the original. I might be heartless, but I'm not gonna pick on a child. Archie Yates, I'm sure, is, is doing the best performance he can possibly give under the circumstances. You're going up against Macaulay Culkin. You're going up against the man, the myth, the legend. He just sounds like he's reading lines. This trailer is awful. It gave me diabetes. Now, it's possible I had that before I watched the trailer. Who's to say? Outside of the medical community. Keenan Thompson is in this. Good for him for breaking the shackles that kept him hooked to the SNL stage floor. He got in the film. That's great. I don't really know what else to say. It's not like the Home Alone legacy is polished. We have two really good films, classics, and then we have three, four, and five. Three was a completely different family. Thought it was terrible. Some people like it. In which case, you might like this new one because you have bad taste. And then there's also Home Alone 4 and 5. Most people don't even know those exist. They went straight to like ABC Family or some crap, straight to DVD. I'm not coming into this with open arms. When they announced that this was coming out, I wasn't the first one in line doing the cool jerk, excited about it, no. I went, ah! why are you remaking Home Alone? But what can we do to stop this madness from continuing? They keep doing it. They keep remaking all these films. Short of hitting the execs in the face with a shovel, I don't really see any other option other than to just not watch it. But if I don't watch it, how are people gonna know my crappy opinion on movies? How are they gonna know? What I'll probably end up doing is giving it a chance, realizing very early it's garbage, and putting on the original two. Then, pointing to those and say, that's how you do it right, movie! That's how it's done! And beat that, you little trout sniffer. What do you think, though? Are you all in on this? Are you excited about another Home Alone movie? Disney Plus? Uh, let me know in the comments. Like the video if you like Home Alone references. Subscribe for Macaulay Culkin, because you know he likes this shit. And make sure to hit that notification bell so that we get more of these right in your feed. And let me leave you with one more classic line from the film. Now I've got a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. That's not right. Thanks for watching the video. You might have been confused because it says trailer reaction and I didn't go, whoa, this is funny. <laughs>
No, I was being honest. It's a, it's a rarity on YouTube. If you appreciate that, once again, I implore you to stick around. There's tons of other videos where I'm being honest and not being a condescending douche. Well, I guess I am, but in a different way.